Cursor just changed vibe coding forever. That's right. This is the new Cursor 2.0 and there's many things that need to be talked about here. We're talking about multi-agents, voice prompts, and a brand new AI model called Composer. But is this just a hype or Cursor is actually about to replace your IDE? In today's video, we'll find out. Let's start with the biggest one, Composer. Now, Composer is a model that is developed, like I said, by Cursor themselves. It is 4x faster than similarly intelligent models like GPT-5 and Sonnet 4.5 or Haiku 4.5. Now, if you have used Cursor, you would remember probably that there was a model called Cheetah, and a lot of people assumed that it was Gemini or Grok Fast. And no, it was a prototype agent model of Cursor. Who would have thought? Now to start, make sure you update your Cursor app to its latest version. And here is Cursor 2.0. So what is new? We have the new agent model, Composer 1. So I'm guessing later on this year or probably next year, there's gonna be Composer 2 and so on. We also have a multi-agent interface where you can use voice inputs and have the same experience when using agents. And finally, we can run multiple agents in parallel. Now, if you click the Get Started with 2.0, we will be redirected to the new UI of Cursor. Here, you will see the familiar interface that you'll usually see when working with agents or LMs or ChatGPT. Now, if you don't like this and you just want to code, you can always go back to the previous old UI by switching to the editor. See here, you have agents and editor. In the agents, of course, we have the prompt box. We have options here to work with agents, to plan and build, but you can also just use plan and ask if you want to. Next to it, we have the models. I'll assume you'll, I assume you already know this, so I'm not gonna bother explaining all this, but this is where you'll find the new model Composer 1. This is also where you can turn on the multiple models, okay? To test different models and see different results. We're gonna try that later on. So let's give this a try and wait, there's another update. I literally just updated this. <laughs> that was quick. So let's use the voice input to prompt and say, on a new Git branch, create a new component that will display the comments of a YouTube video. A few inches. And I gotta say, this was super fast. Immediately it started a to-do list and okay, I'm not sure why I'm getting this error. I'm pretty sure I have a Git in this project. Huh. So yeah, this whole feature took like 1 minute and 19 seconds, I think, and I did not get any issues at all whatsoever, except the git branch. That's pretty much it. Now, once that is done, we can review the code, and yeah, it did what I was hoping it to do. It added the environment variable in the Nuxt config, and surprisingly, it followed and copied the way I write my APIs. I usually started with comments like this. I know, you don't have to, but I like doing it this way. And yeah, it did the same thing. Pretty nice. Overall, it felt super fast. So yeah, let's just accept all these changes. Of course, speed is nothing if the results are bad. So with Cursor 2.0, we can test the web app through its built-in browser. That's right. You now have a built-in browser in Cursor 2.0. You can navigate to the prompt box and click this web icon. And then you have two options. You can either use the browser tab, the built-in or Google Chrome. Let's just use the browser tab. And then let's go to HTTP localhost 3000. And here we go, we have the comments. Wow. <laughs> Shout out to all of you guys who write comments. I really, really appreciate the comments that you guys write, whether it's negative or positive. Oh wait, now that I see this, I may actually just skip this. So make sure you comment down below what you wanna say and that comment's going to be live here. Say whatever. <laughs> Anyway, Composer did a very good job here. I did not do corrections. I didn't fix anything. This right here is one shot. Now I wanna take a look at that Git issue earlier. Yeah, like I said, I have Git for this project, so I'm not sure why I got that fatal error. Maybe because the agent couldn't detect the Git folder because it starts with dot, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's just push this. And once that is pushed, you can easily make PRs by clicking the create PR button, but this is just going to open the PR page. It's not going to literally create a PR. You know, it would be nice if, you know, Cursor managed to open a PR with title and everything, but yeah. I just want to show you this. Now, the next thing that you can do with Cursor 2.0 is running multiple models all at the same time. Here we can turn on the multiple models 
And by default, that's going to use the Composer and GPT-5 codecs. And we can use another model like Haiku 4.5. And then we can say, can you take a look at the YouTube comment component and see if there's a way to optimize it? Because I feel like we can use composables. Now let's run it. And as you can see, you have the models working in parallel. This is a great way to test the models and compare the results. And you know, what's great about this is that since they all use different work trees, there's not gonna be conflicts. You can test them one by one before you apply the changes in your project. And again, Composer is winning this. It's so, so fast. It's crazy. It's almost done. Look. Now I want to try and test Composer to create a project from scratch. Let's create a new tower defense game using 3JS. And in this game, we should have towers that can be bought using gold. The towers should also be upgradable using gold. And we should have enemies that spawn in each level. And then whenever we kill an enemy, it should increase the gold. And when it comes to the design of the game, we should be able to see a grid where we can place the towers. Just make the game as good as possible. And the result is, like what the kids say these days, pretty mid. I see the same mistakes that other models make, like the path is not properly placed, or this whole thing looks like it's just meant to be a prototype. Even if I said, just make the game as good as possible, it still looked pretty basic. I tried to ask it to fix the path, but it just couldn't. But it managed to add camera controls, which is good. Now, if you're wondering how much is Composer, it's the same as Gemini 2.5 Pro. $1.25 for million input and $10 for output. But of course, you can't really use this if you are not subscribed to the Pro plan, which is 20 US dollars. Overall, I don't think this update's supposed to be just about Composer. It's about the new interface. But honestly, this new cursor is just full of amazing feature. I'm not glazing this, okay? I guess my only complaint is their benchmark. It's so confusing and I feel like they're trying so hard to start a trend. I don't know. So that is the new Cursor 2.0. What are your thoughts on this update? Let me know in the comments below. And again, all your comments are going to be visible on my personal website. So go ahead and share your thoughts as I would love to read them before I go to bed. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, please give this video a like and subscribe to Weekly How for more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.